here at Te Papa in Wellington. Te Papa is New Zealand's national museum and it's a very cool place. What's that? Is it an earthquake? Oh, hang on. That's no earthquake. That's my puku. My stomach's rumbling. It's commanding food. Hey, what makes an earthquake? Hmm? Something heavy that lands on the earth or something. A giant might shake the earth. A volcano? No. When rocks rub each other or when rocks push away. Sugar and salt. When bits of earth crash together. Because a giant went out for a walk. I don't know. Volcanic corruption. <laughs> It can sometimes happen when an elephant, when lots of elephants go parading by. It's the way the continental plates move, creating, sort of colliding with each other, creating an earthquake. The Earth's crust is composed of 18 enormous pieces of Earth called tectonic plates. And they're a bit like a shell of a cracked egg. Let me show you. One egg. One hammer. Oh, stand back, this could be dangerous. Here goes. Oh, one mess. Maybe I should have used a hard boiled egg. One moment. Clean this all off. And then perhaps we can start again. Ugh. Lovely. Now, hard boiled egg. Let's try this one. Um, stand back, just in case. Whew. Let's take a look. Can you see how the shell has broken into different size pieces? Well, that's just like the Earth's tectonic plates. And not that I'm saying that the Earth's a hard-boiled egg or anything, but it is looking pretty good today. Oh, would earthquakes lie in belts, usually run along the edges of the tectonic plates? Mmm. Mmm, mmm. One hard-boiled Earth. My favourite kind. This should keep my stomach content for quite some time. The Earth in all its glory. Oh, but this is no good. Look at all the cracks. We'll have to get a new one. <laughs> Just kidding. These lines here emulate the different tectonic plates that make up the jigsaw puzzle of our planet. You may think that your feet are firmly on the ground, but the Earth's crust is constantly moving. It's made up of moving parts or plates. And as these move along aside each other or into each other, there's a jolt which sends out shock waves. New Zealand is a land in motion. And like other countries situated on or near the edges of the great tectonic plates that make up the Earth's shifting crust, it's prone to earthquake and volcanic activity. Part of the boundary between two vast tectonic plates, the Pacific Plate and the Indo-Australian Plate, runs along the length of New Zealand and the plates are gradually sliding under and past each other. As a result, New Zealand is etched with fault lines. The Earth's crust is made of two layers. You have the crust on top and the mantle beneath. Okay, the Earth's mantle isn't really golden syrup. 
it's probably more like porridge. But the earth's mantle is so hot that some of the rock is partly melted and it slowly moves. And that's just the same way the tectonic plates move. The main way earthquakes are caused is when the tectonic plates slide alongside each other or into one another. The energy that's built up results in a shock wave which vibrates the Earth's crust. The size of that vibration and how close it was to the surface contributes to the size of the reaction on the Earth's surface. Earthquakes happen most of the time. It's just that some of them are so small we don't feel them. It's the big ones we've got to worry about. Earthquake Facts The most severe earthquake in New Zealand's modern history was in 1855 in Wellington. In the 1930s, a mathematical device was invented to compare the size of earthquakes. It's called the Richter scale. And large earthquakes like the Wellington one of 1855 measured around eight on the scale. And that's a biggie. New Zealand is a world leader in the use of building codes and design to lessen the impact of natural disasters, particularly earthquakes. Earthquakes can cause a lot of damage to houses, to property, and to people. Earthquake! Are you kidding me? Oh. Earthquakes happen all over the world, and in the last few centuries, there have literally been hundreds and hundreds of earthquakes. They can't predict when an earthquake will happen, but they can analyse an earthquake afterwards and use that information to build stronger and safer buildings and houses. Two thousand years ago, the world's first seismograph was invented. And a seismograph is a machine that measures seismic waves of earthquakes. This Chinese seismograph rocked in the same direction as the shock waves. But the pendulum mounted at its centre rocked more slowly. It pushed rods that opened the mouths of the dragons, releasing brass balls that dropped into the open mouths of the toads below. This indicated which way the shock waves or the earthquakes were coming from. Earthquakes can be really scary. Well, this is just an earthquake simulator at Te Papa. You know, you could save your life if you know what to do in an earthquake. If an earthquake strikes, stand in a doorway away from chimneys or windows. Or get yourself under a sturdy piece of furniture, a good sturdy table or a desk. Why don't you ask your friends and family if they know what to do in an earthquake? Hey, well, I've got a rock and roll, so I'll see you soon. Ka kite machine that records the size of so know, seismic wages, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for paying your broadcasting fee.